So there, that's the main lake. And then there's a bunch of coves here at Lake Jennings. A lot of the times the trout like to be in these coves, these safe havens, because a lot of the bigger bass like to chase them. So these cover the trees, protection from the sun, branches, shallow environment, easy for them to escape the big bass. This is a place that you definitely want to hike to or try to fish when they stalk the rainbow trout here at Lake Jennings. Definitely brought a lot of mini jigs. I brought Patsky trout dough. Try to catch a, a trout here or two and we'll call it a day. There you go, there's the first one. <laughs> first one. There you go. Two pound test, not really horsing the guy. <laughs> Thanks, man. There you go. Use the momentum of him himself to actually go onto the shoreline. He is stock trout, hence why I'm gilling this guy. All right there, right on top of the roof of its mouth. Pound, rainbow trout. Here in Lake, uh, Lake Jennings, two pound test line on a mini jig. One of my main goals for today is actually trying to catch a rainbow trout and actually have my GoPro underwater so you can see the take of the trout eating the, the bait. So that's my mission for today. I hope you appreciate those kind of underwater footage. They do take some effort, but that's the, that's the thrill for me to actually complete that, that little challenge. I'm gonna keep walking, look for the trout. But every now and then, there's a little boil right next to that submerged log or that protruding log out in the water. And so, right there again, another one, another discrepancy. I bet there's insects or little bugs right there. So casting a mini jig or even throwing your trout dough right in that mixture of boiling will increase your chances of catching a trout. In my opinion, depending on where the trout are in the water column, I'm gonna adjust this split shot accordingly. So if they are three feet above the ground, then I'm gonna put this split shot three feet away from the hook itself, making sure that the Patsky firebait is right at the level of where their trout are cruising. I think he got it. I got him right there. Ah, oh. oh, green. This is a. That was right in front of the GoPro, hopefully that captured it. Can you it yeah, probably. There's a nicer one. Do you have a net? Yeah, I got one. Heck yeah. Oh, damn, that might be too big for this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the trout here are like right in the coves. No, you're good, you're good. Oh! Small net. Get him! Oh shoot! <laughs> Big trout! Yes! <laughs> yes! Dude, thanks, man. That was a big trout. This is huge, dog. Dude. Thanks, man. Hell yeah. There you go. There's that trout in this little cove. It's a nice trout. I was, uh, caught a other trout earlier on a mini jig, and I knew that there's some trout in the in this cove because it's a nice little safe haven for these trout to hide from these bigger bass in these lakes. And this guy, this is a nice rainbow trout. This guy finally bit. I was throwing everything at this guy earlier in the morning. Mini jigs to to lures, to spinners, to blade baits, everything. But he he really just wanted the, the trout dough. Hey, thanks man for the net. No, no <laughs> so here's my split shot right here on the main leader line. And then right here is my bait. A 
Oh, a trout already got it. Trout's eating it. Trout's eating the bait. Just letting him swallow it. He's really wanting it. He like spits it out. There you go, got one. Oh, jeez. How is he so good at fishing? <laughs> a lot of patience. A lot of practice. A lot of practice, yep. Oh, my, my line is being frayed. Oh, they get him out of there. There you go, get him out. This will be trout number three today if I can land this girl. There you go. So that theory of Fishing the coves really pays off because a lot of these trout are being chased by these bass and so they seek nice little safe havens such as this cove. Look at this guy. Nice little, oh actually this is a pretty decent one, probably two pounds or so. You know that it's a stock trout because look at the fins here, they clip the, the fins here. And uh, here at Lake Jennings, they practice catch and keep you cannot let these guys go so once you catch your limit of five do everyone a favor and uh, leave after your limit so I put the trout in this plastic bag really curious to see the weight of these three trout right there nine pounds awesome that's dope my parents are gonna be super happy with this. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a comment below. Hit that like button. Again, my name is Roddy Marquez and always, always, thanks for watching. See ya. I spy a halibut. Where's the halibut? Oh, there he is. Look at that. <laughs>